Our top focus at this hour, the India-Canada row continues to deepen. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau reiterated that Ottawa had credible intelligence linking India to the murder of Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijar. But so far, no real and concrete evidence has surfaced from Trudeau's latest presser. Michael Rubin, a former Pentagon official and a senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute, called Trudeau's successive allegations on India a huge mistake. Prime Minister Trudeau, I think, has made a huge mistake. He has made allegations in a manner which he hasn't been able to back. There's two possibilities here. Either he was shooting from the hip and he doesn't have the evidence to support the accusations he made against the Indian government, or he, there is something there, in which case he needs to explain why his government was sheltering a terrorist with blood on his hands. As per reports, the Canadian government claims that it amassed both human and signals intelligence in a months-long investigation into Nijar's murder. The reports say the intelligence included communication of Indian officials present in Canada. The report also claims that some of the information was provided by a quote-unquote unidentified ally in the Five Eyes Alliance. In regards to India, Canada has shared the credible allegations uh, that I talked about on Monday with India. We did that many weeks ago and we are there to work constructively uh, with India and we hope that they uh, engage with us so that we can get to the bottom of this very serious matter. The Prime Minister stressed on the WAD allegations but not substantiated with any tangible evidence. Allegations are usually substantiated by credible evidence but Prime Minister Trudeau chose to offer more allegations to back his previous allegations. After a rise in hate towards Hindus living in Canada post Nijar's death Canada's leader of opposition posted on social media platform X and condemned hate towards the Hindu community. Meanwhile, the United States has stepped in to pitch for mediation. Washington said that it expects India to work with Canada to investigate the alleged involvement of New Delhi in Nijar murder. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said that the United States is both consulting and coordinating with Canada on this issue. The White House has spoken of its concerns over the allegations earlier, but Blinken is the most senior U.S. official to have commented this far. Uh, we are deeply concerned about the allegations that Prime Minister Trudeau has raised. Um, we have been consulting throughout very closely with, uh, with our Canadian colleagues, uh, and not just consulting, uh, coordinating with them on this, uh, on this issue. Uh, and uh, from our perspective, it is critical that the Canadian investigation proceed um, and it would be important that um, India work with the Canadians uh, on this investigation. Um, we want to see uh, accountability, um, and um, it's important that the investigation run its course and lead to that, uh, to that result. Now, amid these diplomatic tensions, Indian auto giant Mahindra and Mahindra shunt its Canadian associate company, Reson Aerospace Corporation. Mahindra held an 11.18% stake in the firm and filed for a voluntary winding up. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.